Well, I think that one of the things that I do is I really try to figure out who I'm talking with. So for example, if it's the employees, we have different groups of employees that do different things. And so I know that if I'm speaking to a certain group that may be focusing on a certain aspect of our business, that's where they're coming from, where there may be another group of employees that do something completely different. And I need to be cognizant of the audience. So whatever the topic is, you know, you can probably talk to either one, but you may not say the exact same thing in the exact same way. Uh, some people may be more sophisticated on the issue than others. Um, and it's not necessarily because of education or anything like that. It could be just, um, you know, you're talking to them about something that's very much in their day-to-day -day mm -hmm. activities, where maybe the people over here, it's not their day-to-day -day activities, but it's just it's important that they understand what's going on. So you need to be a little bit broader brush and bigger picture. So I think it's really important to, to make sure you understand who your audience is. And so, you know, inside the bank, it's pretty easy for me to know that because I know the bank well. But when I'm asked to speak outside of the bank, I generally ask whoever is, you know, asking me to come and help them out. Okay, who's going to be in the audience? What is the background? Where are they all coming from? What is the point of your conference or what you're trying to do? If I'm doing fundraising activities, um, you know, what's the size check we're going to be asking people for? Um, you know, are we asking for $500 or 5000 and um, do we know what the appeal is going to be? Because oftentimes, especially with fundraising, you're just one part of an ask, and so you want to make sure that you're blending in to the total show. Same thing when you're talking to industry-type organizations, it's like they generally have an agenda. You know, they want to talk about the commercial real estate market, so there's really nothing you know, if you spend all your time talking about housing, they're bored because yeah. they want you to talk about commercial real estate. So certainly know your audience. And then second of all, prepare yourself. Um, even though you may think you know the topic really well, it doesn't hurt, even on things that you know really well, to write down an agenda. And, and I'm a big Garrison Keillor fan. And... Um, and, and listened to his show for, for, for many, many years, probably 20 years. And he actually writes out every one of his uh, news from Lake Wobegons before he uh, goes on stage. Now, when you hear him, it sounds like he's just talking off the top of his head, that the thoughts are just kind of flowing in the way he goes. But he's actually written all those stories out ahead of time. I don't think you have to write down every word for word like Garrison Keillor does, but it's good to know that you have a basic outline in terms of the things that you want to cover, make sure it has some order to it, because there are times when you find all of a sudden you get this sort of like dead, sort of like, oh, where am I going? And so then if you can think back and remember, okay, I had this outline of where I was going and what I was doing, it gets you back on track and you'll just feel a lot more confident.